What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XML Gaming. Today I'm going to be bringing a tutorial on how to use brute force save data. For those who don't know what brute force save data is, it's a program that allows you to modify your PS3 game save. It allows you to add cheats, change player profile, change regions of your save. It has additional features, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to talk about the top three features and how to use them. All links on how to get brute force save data will be provided below. So, without further ado, let's actually jump into it. As you can see, this is brute force save data. These are my two saves, which are actually right here on my desktop. These are the files that are in my save, and this is just information about my save. So, the first thing I want to do is show you is how to actually apply cheats to your save. So the first thing you want to do is go to decrypt PFD, decrypt all files, hit ES. When it changes green like this, don't be alarmed. All that means is that you decrypted your save. Now we want to go to cheats, apply cheats, and Ninja Storm 3 has seven cheats. I'm going to turn them all on. Hit apply. Seven cheats were applied. Hit OK. Once that's done, you go to encrypt PFD, encrypt decrypted files, hit yes, and you're done. All you need to do is take the save, which is right here, put it on a USB flash drive, go to your PS3, copy it over, and when you start the game, those seven cheats should be active. That's pretty much it. Fairly simple, fairly easy. The second thing I want to show you is how to change player profile. And what I mean is how to use another save on another account. So the first thing you want to do is get a save from the account that you want to use. Then put it on your flash drive, then come back to your computer, and then put it on your desktop. Once you have that done, the first thing you want to do is go to setparam.sfo as a template. Then come down to configurate profile, and I'm going to use number one. Now from here you select your param.sfo, hit open. Now you need to give your profile a name. I'm just gonna give my one a test. Hit OK. Hit OK. And as you can see up here, my profile is now set to test. So let's say for instance, I want to say Naruto Ninja Store 3 and change this profile to a test profile so when I go back to my account and I log into my test account I then can just transfer this over from my USB and it should work on my test account so right now we set the profile to test all I need to do is click on this and as you can see my profile just changed the test that's it it's fairly simple and fairly easy and that goes for any other save that's here once you set the profile any save that's here you click on will now be associated with this profile and that's it fairly simple fairly easy another feature that I would like to show you is how to take a save and turn it into a general save and what I mean by general is that any person or any account can use it fairly simple fairly easy all you need to do is right click come down to it says unlock save to work on any PS3 account click on it hit yes hit yes and you're done all you do is take this save and basically any account can use this save so let's say for instance you go to your friend's house and you're playing Ninja Storm 3 and you want to use this save well you can use it your friends can use it and your friends friends can use it and you don't have to go through the whole trouble of signing in to make sure that this account is associated with this sale or just work like normal and that's pretty much it now the third feature I would like to show you is how to change regions of your save as you know most saves is associated with a region as you can see my ninja storm is a US save let's say if you had a euro game which is a pal and you wanted to take a United States save but change it to a Euro save. All you need to do, which is fairly simple, fairly easy, is highlight, right click, come down to it says change title ID slash region. And this is hypothetical. Let's say 
I'm going to change this to Euro. So, all I need to do is put in BLES31066. And again, this is not the Euro region of Noroto Nor Storm. It's just hypothetical. If you know the region of Noroto Storm, obviously you would put it in. After that, you hit OK. And as you can see, it created a Euro save of Naruto Ninja Storm 3. It also created it on my desktop. And that's it. Pretty much pr pretty much, pretty simple, pretty easy. And it should also have the cheats activated. So again, that's pretty much it. For all additional features, check out the link below for brute force save data. Again, brute force save data is one of the best things that's out. There's others that you can use, but it doesn't incorporate all the features that you want and plus you got to pay for them obviously game genie exploder but by far ps3 brute force save data is the best that's out there again it's mr you know who from xmi gaming look out for my gaming channel and peace